Well, praise the Lord and God bless you today, Facebook peeps. This is your sister, your auntie, your grandma, your mama, your niece, your cousin, but hopefully, most of all, your friend, Beatrice Bruno, the Drill Sergeant of Life, and these are the Grief Chronicles with the Drill Sergeant of Life. And I want to talk to you about the ups and downs of grief. Um, yesterday, I'm sure many of you saw that I had posted on Facebook that yesterday was a really good day. Hey, Chester Holland, God bless you today. Um, yesterday was a really good day. I had to um, take an exam, and I'll talk more about that later, but had to take an exam and I passed it first time through and I was, oh man, I was excited when I came out of the um, exam room and uh, went out and checked out and what have you. And, and I was telling the lady why I was getting ready to do what I'm doing. And um, it, 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 I guess it compelled her to hug me. And she was the, the proctor, if you will, of the testing center. And she said, can I hug you? And I said, sure you can. And, and it just blessed me. But yesterday was a really good day and I was I was on a high because God had done something and I knew it was God that did it. I look, let me just tell you, I, I'm not I'm not going to deny what God does in my life, because if it were not for the Lord, I wouldn't be making it through this grief the way I'm making it through. And it's only by his grace and mercy that I'm able to go through this grief and to function in the way that he wants me to function for such a time as this. But um, had a really good day. I had studied hard for that. And again, let me say it was only by the grace of God because he showed me exactly how to study for that test so that um, that I would do what I needed to do. And, and on my way there and all I could play was praise music and just th thank the Lord in advance for what I knew he was going to do. And God showed up and he showed out in that testing room. And I'll be perfectly honest with you. I don't know how many of you have ever taken state um, exams for um, licensing purposes and what have you. But those questions, sometimes those questions are worded in such a way that it's it's crazy. It's like, d did I even study this stuff? And I knew I had studied, but some of those questions were just, and I had to say, Holy Spirit, I need you to come and help me take this test because I am just not, um, I, I don't recognize some of these questions and the answers and, and God came through and, and he came and showed up and showed out. So I just thank God for that. Yesterday was a really good day and I posted about it last night on Facebook. This morning, as I was fixing my breakfast and I started feeling kind of weepy and I'm like, what is this? I said, Lord, I should be happy that, you know, I, I, I passed that portion of the test. I have to go Saturday and take the next portion of the test. And, and you know, I'm still excited about that, still excited about what God has done. And, but I was feeling kind of weepy, kind of tearful. And I'm like, well, Lord, what is that? And the spirit of the Lord spoke to me this morning and he said, although you're excited about going into the new, you still kind of want to hold on to the old, to the past. And I, I thought about it. I said, hmm, because the past is where my marriage was, my husband and, you know, the things that we did as a as a couple. And now I'm going forward as a single. And so I, I want to talk to somebody this morning that's going through the grief process. And God is having you to go into the new that he wants you to be in. And you feel kind of sad and, and feel kind of weepy and, you know, tearful because you're leaving that stuff behind. It's OK. It's OK to experience that because it's hard for us. I was married to Mr. Bruno for 27 and something years. And it's hard for me to go forward now as a single. I'm no longer part of a couple. OK, I'm a single. It's just me. And so I'm going forward. But it's kind of it's kind of bittersweet. It's kind of challenging to understand that I'm going forth by myself. Now I'm going with the Lord. Yes, I'm going with the Lord, but I'm going forth as a single woman, a widow, if you will. Now I got to go on base and get my ID card, my, my widow's ID card. 
but I'm going forth as a single woman. And it's kind of challenging to even think about it that way because for so long I was, I was married to that man and now he's not here to, to partake of what I'm getting ready to do. And yes, although I'm really excited about the path that God has laid out before me and, and the direction that he has me going in, I'm a little bit sad about what I'm leaving behind because we have some memories. Oh my goodness. It would take me years just to tell you about the memories that we share, but I've got to go forward. I've got to go forth and do the things that God has called me to do. So you see with grief, you're going to have those ups and downs. There's going to be those days where you're up, up, up. And then there's going to be those days where you're just so down, you're lower than a whale's belly. I'll put it like that, lower than a whale's belly. And it may cause you to cry. It may cause you to feel sad, but it's okay because that's a part of the grieving process. And don't deny yourself that portion of the grieving process. Allow yourself to grieve. Allow yourself to feel those feelings, to experience those emotions, because th those are the things that's going to help you grow in the way that God needs for you to grow so that you can reach the objectives that he has in front of you. And God has so much in front of you. Good morning, uh, Dr. Patsy Warren Cook. God bless you today. Um, God has so much in front of you. It's just crazy. And if you would really allow yourself to just sit down and just think about the things that God is taking you into, it will scare you because I'm looking at some of the stuff that God is getting ready to take me into. And it actually scares me just a little bit because it's bigger than what I can even imagine. But let's face it. God does things much bigger than what we can even think of. He does things much bigger than we probably even want him to do. But it's where God wants us to go. And I, so then that prompts me asking you the question. Have you given that final yes to God? Have you told him wherever you want to go, wherever you want me to go? Hello, son. I love you too, baby. Wherever you want me to go, God, that's where I'll go. Whatever you want me to do, that's what I'll do. See, I made a commitment to God. Oh, gosh, May the 15th, um, 1991. This year it will be, what is that, 28 years? 28 years ago, I made a commitment to God. And I, I told him, I said, God, and it was uh, around the time I was getting out of the military in um, 92. I said, Lord, if you will let me get out of the army and get the um, they were giving out a um, what did they call it? Uh, severance pay, I guess. I don't know um, if you let me get out with the money that the military wants to give me. I'll go where you want me to go. Do what you want me to do and say what you want me to say. And I never turned back from that. And he has taken me into some highs. And to some lows, some places I wanted to go and some place I really did not want to go. But that's because I made a commitment to him and I, I'm still standing by that commitment. I will not change on that commitment. I will continue to do what God wants me to do in these seasons of my life because he is my Lord. I have received him as my personal savior. And so I can't turn around. I'm going to say what God wants me to say. I'm going to do what he wants me to do. I'm going to the places that he wants me to go to. Have you made that commitment to God? Have you said to God? Yes, because see, he's waiting for your yes, your final yes, so that he can really show up and show out in your life as never before. So in this time of grief that I'm going through missing my husband and it's been what is this now? This is six months, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, six months. And we get ready to hit seven months in March. Um, there are, I, I'm discovering that there are the ups and the downs of grief. One day you will be up and you'll be flying high. And the next day it's like everything comes down upon you. And it's like, oh, Lord, please help me to make it through. But he's helping us to make it through. And so I just want to encourage somebody today, allow yourself to grieve, allow yourself to go through the process of grieving. Yes, it's going to hurt, but God has so much for you on the other side and he wants you to get to that place that he has specifically for you. And yes, it's a very specific place. So allow yourself to go through the grieving process. Let God take you through. He wants to walk with you, not, in, not behind you. 
not in front of you. He wants to walk with you through this grieving process so that you can reach the objective that he has for you. So this is Beatrice Bruno, the drill sergeant of life, author, speaker, U.S. Army veteran. I'm your sister. I'm your mama, your grandma, your niece, your auntie. But hopefully, most of all, your friend. God bless you. And I love you with the love of Jesus. And we'll see you next time on the Grief Chronicles with the Drill Sergeant of Life. Have a blessed day. Bye bye.